NOAA putting out drought monitors once a week. We know that our north zone badly needs it, not in uh, a severe, extreme, or moderate drought category, just considered abnormally dry. So welcome showers up in our north zone, and we're not done. We still have some showers to our north that we are tracking. Nothing crazy or severe. We have lightning tracker on here, and you can see some of these cells flaring up in right over Howell, or near Howell, just south of Howell. We have a few more back behind it, and still some more showers up in our north zone zone before the afternoon chances flare up once again. We'll have a little stationary front, cool front that has been coming through that sort of parks itself for a little while as the spark for additional showers. Not all models really in agreement on these scattered downpours, but I would say after two, three o'clock, eyes to the skies for some of these downpours and maybe a 20, 30 minute delay in your plans. 80 degrees. Otherwise, keep your outdoor plans in place. 58 overnight. We will not see any rain or thunder. It's going to clear out. It is going to be very comfortable sleeping weather. If you're cool with keeping the windows open overnight, you'll sleep well. Just make sure you're comfortable with that. 80 degrees tomorrow and the humidity is stripped out of the area after we get through some of these showers and notice one of these models here about three o'clock has these scattered downpours maybe even through the evening drive, 6, 7 uh, p.m. before really we start to clear it out. And it will clear out big time. 50s for morning lows, both Thursday, Friday. Tons of sun to end the work week, Thursday, Friday. And the weekend we did add or reintroduce rain chances. Earlier in the week, Evrod, we took Sunday rain out, but okay. models are steering toward more shower chances on Sunday, second half of our weekend.